This is a demonstration of a phosphonate drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. Once you have gathered an accurate sample, the next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add one OP tablet. Once you have added the tablet to the vial, use the tablet crusher to crush the tablet and then swirl the vial to make sure it's completely dissolved. A green color should develop. For high alkalinity samples, two or three tablets may be necessary to properly buffer the sample. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. Each bottle of titrant is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip Therefore, it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. You may get a gray intermediate color as you add the titrant. Continue to titrate the sample until all the green or gray color is gone and the sample turns purple. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample color has changed from green to purple.